where did where does it say? Could you show me some philosophical literature that says the law of identity is a properly basic belief? Darwin's been has been explained properly basic beliefs numerous times. But if you guys want to learn about it and have an intellectual conversation about it, I'm happy to do so. You see, Dar Dar Darwin doesn't want to. He's this is sophistry. He doesn't want to have a dialogue. He won't engage with anybody on this, on this topic with other people that have already disproved him. The Top Top Power Rangers. Um, so I mean, it's sophistry. But if you guys really want to do this, I can do this on my channel. I'm fine with that. Notice what he said about the law, the law of identity. The law of identity is that all entities that, that exist um, are self-identical in all times and all places. Now, in the philosophical literature, not that I'm an expert, um, pro properly basic beliefs have to do with uh, things that we, we, we cannot go further back and demonstrate or justify and with our immediate experience. The law of identity, the law of non-contradiction, and the law of excluded middle are not something that have to do with our immediate experience because the laws of, of logic have to do with all, at all times and all, all places. So that would be outside of our immediate experience and wouldn't necessarily qualify as, as a properly basic belief. Now the reason why he wants to identify the laws of logic as a properly basic belief because he knows, given his skeptical worldview, he cannot demonstrate that it is the case that his, his sense perceptions are reliable. He cannot demonstrate that it is the case that his, his memory is, is reliable. He cannot demonstrate that his basic cognitive reasoning is reliable. He knows that he cannot demonstrate that the laws of logic are reliable. These are all foundational to the ability to reason about reality. Another problem is this. Any time that Steve makes a statement like, other than something is, let's say, what he likes to call a properly basic belief, if he states anything is the case uh, in such a way, he's either stating it as, as having a truth value, that it is true, or that, just, that, that, that he, he strongly believes it. Well, if he's just advocating that he strongly believes it, you can dismiss it because then he would actually be conceding that he could be wrong. Now, if he doesn't mean it in that way, then he would be asserting it that it was the case or true. But how could he know that certain things are true when he can't even justify that there is a uniformity of nature? He can't justify the laws of logic. So neither, so he cannot demonstrate that anything that he states is the case is, is the case in such a way that he cannot be wrong. So whatever, so, so, whatever he, so whatever he states is just a belief that he has in varying per percentages of confidence. 